My name is Washtewi Young and I am from the Standing Rock Sioux Indian Reservation in North and South Dakota, the Standing Rock Nation, um, where we are Lakota and Dakota people. Um, Standing Rock is also the home to Sitting Bull. I came here with a group of other individuals who were at camp at Standing Rock at the Ocheti Shakowi camp and Sacred Stone. We're here to talk with um, various banks about divesting from fossil fuel projects such as KXL and the Dakota Access Pipeline. We're also here to network with other communities and how to get their support and how they can help us in our fight. I came here with a group of indigenous people from Standing Rock that were at Standing Rock during the No Dapo movement. And we're here to talk to banks about divesting from fossil fuel projects such as KXL and Dakota Access Pipeline. We're also here to network with other communities and um, meet with them and, and how to strategize and get their support in, in other ways. Uh, the camps were closed on February 22nd. Since then, Shine River Sioux Tribe still has their camp up and we have just been doing divestment work to get the banks to divest from these projects. And we're still very active on social media, trying to get the word out, people to share the story, people to get divest, um, pressure the banks to divest from these projects. It's it's not, um, there's not a heavy military or law enforcement presence currently, but there still is private security on site. And uh, right now the pipeline, Dakota Access Pipeline is not operational yet, but in April last month, it spilled in South Dakota. It spilled around 90 gallons in South Dakota at a holding facility. So. It's crazy that it's not yet operational, but it has already leaked. I think the term water protector became synonymous with the individuals who had come out to Standing Rock to help us to make a stand physically and spiritually. So that was a term that people adopted as um, a sign of solidarity and support with us. I would just like to thank everybody for this opportunity. I would like to thank those who planned it and brought us over here for their hard work. We appreciate everything that you've done for us and we thank you people from all over the world for standing in solidarity with us.